Hello YouTubers, how's it going? Just another day in paradise, hopefully for you. Hopefully everything's going really good. Boy, I'll tell you what, the old uh, 4Runner is looking fantastic, man. This thing is uh, looking really good. I've got a lot of stuff done to it. And I've actually been offered quite a bit of money for this thing because a lot of people are restoring these, and uh, which is good for me. So uh, I want to show you real quick how to change a tail light in these things because I see so many guys breaking these. Let me get back here. And... Uh, I'll give you a look at the back of it there. Really good shape. Even like the uh, Forerunner mat. How often do you get a Forerunner mat? Cargo mat, huh? Not too often. I see that in vehicles. So here we go. Um, this uh, light is out on this side. And here is the bulb that you have to actually get. This is a 7443. This is a Long Life Savonia bulb. And these are really big. These are some pretty big bulbs. I got these at the auto parts store. They weren't very much. I think two of them was probably about 8 or $10. So what we got to do to get this off, get you a little socket here, a 10 millimeter and our two bolts. There's one right there and run one right down there in the bottom. Kind of loosen these up a little bit to make the video a little easier and faster. And I apologize if my dog, the dog next door, my neighbor's dog starts barking. Hopefully he'll be quiet while I'm filming this. And we're going to take this bottom one out. And I see a lot of these tail lights get broken, especially at the junk. Our guys are pulling on them. They end up breaking them. So what you got to do, uh, you just can't pull straight out on it. And you notice it still won't come out. And you're thinking, well, maybe if I just keep pulling on it, well, don't do it. What you got to do is kind of get off the side here. And what we got to do is slide the tail light that way. Because there are two long pins on this side that go into the side of the body. And what you got to do is kind of hit it like that. And sometimes it'll stick a little bit. There we go. I think we got it. One hand with the camera and one hand doing the work. And there we go. We got it out. And there are our pens. You see those pens right there. They go in right there. And this is why you don't want to start prying on it because you'll snap that pen and you'll break the side of this tail light. And next thing you know, you'll have water getting in there and your lights will always short out. So uh, the bottom one here is out. Let me see if I can get this out with one hand. Now you guys are excited. Pretty ex Well, that just fell in there. So now I'm going to set the camera down and fish it out. Uh, all right, I think I got it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's definitely burnt out. It is dark. It's black. So set that down there and we'll flip this over. And these tail lights are pretty expensive. They want $50 a piece for them, so you got to be careful. This is why I'm making a video because I don't want you to end up breaking yours. And we got to grab our new light here. Go ahead and stick that in here. So if I can get it in one hand. Hey, I'm getting pretty good at this. All right, so that's in. And we'll go ahead and put the bulb in. And uh, what I'm going to do is uh, verify it work. Verify it works before I even put it all back together. Here's a trick I do. If you're a solo guy like me, well, I have a cat, but the cat doesn't do much. But eat. Um, get your broom. Put on the brake pedal down here like this, and put it up like that against your headrest, and move the seat forward. You probably do this about on any car. And as that gets uh, on the headrest here. This will push down on the brake pedal, and then we can go back and see if our brake is working. All right, let's go see if it's working. How about that? So, that worked out really good. So, that works. We verified it, so we just go ahead and put this back in there. Slide this back on like this. Get this pin started in there, and put your bolts back in. We're pretty much done. Okay, so we're just about done. We'll get that in there. And I think I did I tell you this is a 10 millimeter socket in case I didn't and Basically we're done at this point and uh, we got a good working brake light now I've fixed a lot of lights on the dash of this thing. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see in here It's kind of dark, but I've done a lot of uh, There's been a lot of problems with a lot of these uh, forerunners And I gotta get the seat back before I can get in here so I can talk to you guys real quick uh, a lot of these forerunners have problems with the lights on the dash and everything, and they got burned out. I will be making a video on uh, these lights, how to replace them. Let me see if I can get the key in here real quick. And you can see all my lights now work. Earlier, none of this stuff worked. I had to replace the bulbs. I even fixed the radio. Uh, 
there's a uh, problem with a lot of these uh, forerunners that have the radios that don't work. I replaced. Uh, well, I didn't replace. The, you can't replace the bulbs in the forerunners uh, in the radio. What you have to do is take this radio apart, and there's a couple of solder joints in here that you have to resolder. It makes all these lights work, and this is the factory radio. It has a CD player in it, and also a cassette deck. I fixed all that, but also I'm going to replace some more lights down here on the gear shift column, and all that. And I'll have a video up. Uh, coming up a little bit later on how to do that so i uh, just so you know in a nutshell so that's it guys a lot of nickel and dime stuff but you know it all adds up and uh once you get it all done it makes you feel good makes you feel like you've accomplished something so there you go uh that's how you replace the tail light on the uh 2000 toyota 4runner till my next video guys i will see you later